Now, welcome home. This is the Residency Podcast. I am Jeff Tomasic with Drew Belcher and Lil Raven, bringing you the biggest guests and stories in entertainment, business, pop culture, and sports from our studio on the Las Vegas Strip inside the Mandalay Bay. Make sure to subscribe on Apple, Spotify, and YouTube. We need it. We love it. We appreciate that. This episode is brought to you by Mandalay Bay, fresh off one of the biggest weekends in playoff football history. If you are in Vegas for the big game, make sure to check it out at Mandalay Bay for all of their activations and watch parties. Plus, all-around icon, Tyler the Creator, performs the same weekend on February 13th at Michelob Ultra Arena. And the Latin King himself, Jay Balvin, will be at Michelob Ultra Arena April 23rd as well. Concerts are going crazy here. Um, come big, see us at our studio. Big booty Latinas. Yeah. Big booty Latinas. <laughs> big booty Latinas. <laughs> Great video. Big booty Latinas. Uh, come see us at our studio at Mandalay Bay Sportsbook anytime. We appreciate you guys. Let's go. Another solid guest for you guys today. This is a good one. Big one this week. This is going to be fun. Oh, I'm going to wait. But no, no, no. We got it. We got the internet's favorite dad here at this point. Yeah. Pops of the year. You've probably seen him in almost every other reality show on MTV at this point. Yeah, MTV. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Corey Warren, welcome to the show, man. What's going on? What's going on, fellas? Thank you guys for having me. But let me tell you guys one thing. These fellas right here, they put me in a penthouse suite. I've never <laughs> been in a penthouse suite in my life. They treated me right. So all the guests that come on the show just know you're going to get the great, grade A1 treatment when you're with these fellas. I love so what thank a you guys. About. What a plug. Oh, thank you guys, that. man. They're treating me well. We got to butter you up to get lit. the real answers out. You know what I mean? That's what <laughs> yeah, feel comfortable, man. feel good, a couple drinks. Yeah. And this is Vegas. Vegas has to go big. Vegas, Vegas has to go big. That's yeah, why I'm drinking sure. OJ in the morning. You know, you dig. There <laughs> you go. When's the last time you were in Vegas? Uh, it's been it's been probably since the pandemic. I haven't been here. So, so probably two years. years. Oh, okay. Okay. Probably almost two years. Itching for the trip. I miss it. I miss it. Yeah. I miss this place. We don't this go is anywhere, Sin by the way. City, yeah. but I'm not sinning. But it's still <laughs> fun. Uh, no, it's a good time, man. I love coming here. Me and the girl, we made a nice little trip. We don't have our kids. We don't get too many date nights. Wow. So, like, when I heard we get I get it. to come to Vegas, sit down with you fellas, and then I get to bring my girl, I'm like, listen, we're leaving the kids at home. Let's go gamble a little bit. Let's go live our lives. You two know? whole so, nights. When the day rolls into a whole free morning, nights, yeah. that's like, I've noticed yeah. it's a major thing. Oh, yeah. I haven't had one, by the way, in 11 months, so I'll let you know when I do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just I mean, stuck right when we landed, you know, Taylor's on FaceTime with Mila. I'm talking to Ryder. Like, even though we leave our kids at home, we're still sitting there talking about them, thinking about yeah, them, yeah. you know. So, yeah. no, nah, but it's good, man. I'm glad you guys had me, and I'm ready to answer these questions and Let's spill go. some tea. Let's I love go. that. I love Let's that. Go. I love that, man. Well, uh, we have a question for you real quick. Mm -hmm. I mean, it seems like your whole life is, is in front of a camera. Yeah. Are you just addicted to being on reality TV at this point? You want to know what I, it's funny, because I get this question a lot. Am I addicted to it? Yeah. Hell yeah. I love being on camera and I love being on TV. I'll be lying if I said I didn't. Love that. But I think this all stemmed back to my grandma, right? So when I was growing up, okay. my grandma had, um, what is those, those big ass camcorders? Camcorder. Camcorder. Yeah. Camcorder. Had a camcorder. And she recorded everything when I was little and would always put me on camera when I was little. And... I don't know if they, it translate now. It translate now, but um, you know, I'm just thinking that like, it just makes me comfortable in front of the camera. It just makes it like what I'm used to, and I just give it all back to my grandma, man. She started this when I was really little, and then now it's just kind of picked up. You use some of those old school clips when you when you had to pitch early old in the days. Old school clips, <laughs> like, man. Back when I was Christmas 1990s. Yeah. He's over there doing yeah. his crazy little dances. 1992. As a child. I had the rat tail. My mom had oh, a nice no. rat tail, and I'm still doing a little something in the back, yeah. but it's not the rat tail. But um, no, man. It's just it's been lovely, blessed, and happy where I'm at. You like subconsciously probably were like, All yeah, right, cool. this I don't is easy. that spotlight, yeah, right? Don't that spotlight. Know. You're just on. It's weird. And my girl says the same thing. She's like, "All right, you're chill, but when the lights come on, you kind of turn it on." I'm like, "Yeah, I don't know what it is." It's just like, <laughs> it gets me going, man. You feel the lights coming out? With yeah, the big grandma's <laughs> coming out with the big camera put on. But um, no, man. And it's been really cool with my journey in reality television and. I've literally just had to grow up on TV, you yeah. know, and that's something that's really cool. I've only had to be myself. So with being yourself, you make mistakes, you know, but at the same time, you learn from those mistakes. And now it's like I just try to be the best dad that I could be to my little girls. And um, it's awesome, man. I've grown up on TV. I've changed. How many years has it been from like the first uh, I time? I started you when I was 22. So okay. eight. It's eight been a while. Yeah. Hopefully we keep this that, thing going. Yep. And that's that's like that's you truly growing up in front of the camera, especially your yeah. whole 20s. Yeah, oh, my whole man. 20s. 
I you really think you know show. your shit when you're 22 as well. And oh, you for don't. sure. Oh, you're I knew a everything when I was 22. Yeah. I got this. I knew everything. No hair on my face. I'm not going to say anything wrong. No problem. Everything I say is going to be right with confidence. Wrong. Exactly. Yeah. I think you have to get used to seeing yourself, by the way, because if you're not used to watching yourself on TV, it can be awkward. Oh, I locked myself in my house for two weeks. Like The we- first real world episode <laughs> that was out in like 2013, and I saw myself, I was like, God, you're a dick. Yeah. <laughs> no, it messed, it messed me up. You see yourself, yeah. and you don't like the person that you're watching, Ooh. and I'm watching myself, and I'm like, Damn, I don't really fuck with you. Right? And I'm like, Damn. that's me. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, shit, I got to change. You know, I got, I got some growing to do. And so I'm forever thankful for MTV and the opportunity that they gave me because they've just helped me become a better man, you know? Right. So it, it's all been a process. You, is there like a, what was like a cringe moment? Is there a moment you saw oh, on TV and you're like, Lots of cringe oh, moments. Hell, lots of wow. moments where I don't really remember what really goes on. And then <laughs> yeah. you watch the episode and you're like, Oh, that's what I said, or that's what I did, you know. So um, you just live and you learn, man. It's life, you know. You can't really have a selective memory. You know when you think that you remember something right? You can't really do that when it's actually on TV. <laughs> yeah, you know, for like, sure. Oh. I know I didn't say that, and then you said it. Oh, And then you watch damn. it and you did say it, yeah. Was there ever a moment, like, actually in the moment where you're like, damn, I really hope that doesn't go in there? Uh, <laughs> there's been a couple moments <laughs> like that. <laughs> There's been a couple uh, moments like that, but um, really hope the yeah. camera guy was asleep for like <laughs> yeah. And ninety percent of the time, they will show those moments yeah. oh, for sure. Oh, they love like, it. Like there was a moment where I got kicked off of a show for slamming some dude, and I was we seen it. We saw it. Yeah. All right, the Tony slam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Saw it. I was positive. I was like, there's no, way, there's no cameras around. They didn't catch us. I slipped. I was like, I slipped. All my boys had my back. They're like, yeah, he slipped. Everyone was drunk that night, like just cuts wasted. to slow mo. Cuts <laughs> yeah. to the slow mo. Me just picking Tony up, doing the leg kick, and just. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, TJ showed it to me, and I was like, I'll pack my bags now. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. I don't have anything to say. <laughs> I made a mistake, and it is what it is. By know? the way, shout out TJ. We've yeah. had TJ on the show. Shout yeah, out TJ to TJ, on, yeah. man, yeah. a Vegas legend. Yeah. Vegas, the, Vegas legend. The, for the sure. Vegas legend, man. Vegas that episode legend. with him was incredible. He was great. So good. Yeah, so, he's TJ's got some stories cool too. Cool people, man. Yeah, yeah tons of stories. Uh, I've heard them all like 16 times. I'm sure. <laughs> it's great. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> a lot of quiet time there, you yeah, know? Yeah. In whatever random country you guys go to every whatever single time. Whatever country. Uh, I'm there, ready to jump off of whatever. Well, the biggest story recently, obviously, officially, yeah. you have left the challenge. No. Is that true? Ooh, not true no. anymore? I'm going to need you fellas to do more research. Okay. It's not, okay. You, you need back? to invest more time in my life. You're back? <laughs> what I'm doing yeah. on my yeah. schedule. Yeah. Fuck those kids. No, I'm just yeah. You're back? Um, no, but... um. It's not that I retired. I've just taken a season off, you okay. know. Okay. Um, got two little ones. There's other things in life that I want to try to accomplish. Um, and the challenge isn't going anywhere, man. It's a great franchise, great show. For sure. I take a lot of pride in the show. I've done a lot of seasons. So I want to see the show do well. It's nothing but support over here. Yeah. Um, but I'll, I'll take a season off, you know. Get ready to come back? Yeah. I definitely want to come back. But that show's I mean, never ending, by the I way. I want to have <laughs> that feeling to want to come back hunger mm. you that hunger yeah. i want to have that drive again you know like i'll be honest when covid hit the challenge stopped being fun and they just mm. had they did what they had to do to make the production continue right but it, you do don't that. explore the country that you're in you're not going out on the weekends you're, you're literally sitting in the house still um you know you're not going to clubs where other people are or bars where other people are you know you're staying in a bar that they rented out where it's just the castmates oh that's yeah sucks. you yeah. know so it's just, it. It, it's just like the challenge when i first started used to be such a different experience um and now it's had to shift with the times which is cool you know they, they're doing what they have to do but um you know hopefully when all this mess is done we can get back to making it fun again how much freedom did you guys have pre-COVID yeah. to do like that downtime? What, what you, you wanted? Doing? Yeah, so downtime. It's like Saturdays. Usually we go to like a beach villa. This is all before COVID, yeah. right? Um, we would go to like a beach villa or go to the mall and see a movie or um, just go to a beach at a random whatever country we're in really? at the yeah. time. Yeah, but it's cool because you get to go out. You're leaving the house, right? Yeah. We want to leave this house. We're stuck in for three months. We want to leave this house. Um, so yeah, it's just right now with COVID, they haven't done those things. Double agents. We had the club in our backyard that they built, and then it was just <laughs> cast members going back there to get drunk, and then we're going literally walking back to the house. You know what I mean? Yeah, so like, yeah, yeah. Womp, womp. it's cool yeah. and yeah. all, but 
we're all like most of us are in our 30s and you know the challenge has some older cast members and whatnot so it's just like at what point is it just like we want to just explore these countries we want to make the challenge fun again you know mm -hmm. but uh they're doing what they can man yep yeah, I guess I never knew that you guys would actually leave and go oh, like yeah. do real. Well, back in the day, the you would go to like a beach villa, order a hookah on a Saturday. You can order whatever you want off the menu. Like, it's those little things that we right. cherish. Just living, no, just yeah, living, just, just, living, just leaving yeah. the house. Like, those are the things that like made it worth it. Right. You know, I can't wait for that Saturday. We're all leaving. We're all gonna go on a boat and go snorkeling in Thailand. Like, yeah, this shit's lit. cool as hell, bro. I would never normally get to do this. Right. Exactly. You know, so um. You know, I hope it gets back to that. What was the coolest location? The coolest location, Thailand. Thailand. Because I got to live outside for two weeks. I'm a big fan of Survivor and the Amazing Race. That's right. Jeff Probes, if you're listening, wow, hook me up. Get him on the show. I'm trying to send you these emails, man. <laughs> Hit me back. I've been hitting trying you for two months. Show, Jeff man. Probes, I'm a good dad. Listening, Put me on the show. But uh, no, I love Survivor. It's probably dope. Love Amazing Race. Who'd be your partner? On Sur Amazing Race? Yeah. yeah. My cousin Mitch. Okay. And we did the challenge with on Bloodlines. Okay. Please don't forget, my man is a genius. He went to Berkeley, and um, <laughs> he just we just play well off of each other. I love Amazing yeah. Race, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Love Because if you get flustered, like, you can just tell you, like, people freak love the, the race. Out. Like, <laughs> See, I'm great with people. I think what people don't do on the Amazing Race, what they should do is ask the locals more. Like, oh, right? do you know where this is? Like, some of the time they're wasting time. No. On a map. I'm flagging a taxi down. I'm asking the locals. Okay, good. I know how to do directions. Mitch, you drive. You know, but, yeah. um, <laughs> nah, man, definitely living in, living in Thailand for two weeks on invasion, we had to, like, earn our way into the house. Okay. Which was just, like, a cool concept because it was, it was an experience that – I'll never get to do again. Mm. Dog, you live outside in Thailand for two weeks. It's going to stick with you for a while, yeah, right? So that was cool. Um, was it really rough? Like, there are cameras in your face, but you guys got rough. no... It was rough. I want to say we had our we had meals every day. So it's not like Survivor where you don't have your meals. You got to go get some fish in the water. Yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah. I'm fishing for my food. Drinking but, just some um, coconuts and stuff. Yeah, just, no. No coconut. Yeah. <laughs> you see a random animal running, you yeah. sprint out. I gotta get that oh, squirrel dude, There used to be like zombie dogs walking around our little fort that we had. Dogs with like their ears bitten off. Oh. You would hear dogs get shot in the middle of the night. Oh wow, wow! Like it was, yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. Right? Thailand. Yeah. It was definitely Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't in America at that point. Yeah. But uh, yeah, <laughs> it was cool, man. Definitely Thailand. Thailand Coolest place. It. Shouts out to Thailand. All right, that's cool then. So yep. when you get, speaking of locations, mm -hmm. when you you know you're going on the show, mm -hmm. how does that process work to figure out if you're getting the next season or not? Dog, I know I'm on the next season. Guaranteed. I don't wow. need to. Guaranteed. <laughs> no, not guaranteed. So there's a process. They call you. They see if you're available, right? Lots of people get this phone call, the availability call. Yeah. Boom. After that, then it's like, all right, the next phone call we're going to call you about is to see where you are in life. Like, what's really going on with you? Anything new? And then we're going to run these dates by you. You know, do these dates work for you? If not, tell us why, and we'll kind of go from there. We'll give you another call. Boom. Third call is kind of like, hey, we're really thinking about you. And then they approach you with, like, a list of questions. And then you can see, like, kind of where they're steering the season. Like, who have you been dating? You know, what's your dating life like? Or And you're like, ah, is this shit's going to be exit. Like, I'm going <laughs> on this shit. But, uh... No, it was just, you just kind of see where they're steering it, right? Right. And then that fourth call is when they're like, hey, just so you know, we really would love for you to be on this season. As long as you pass these tests, you'll be on, which then you have to take a psych test, which is 500 questions. And then you also have to go do a physical which they don't test for steroids, which they should, because Kyle, <coughs> some people <laughs> on the challenge wouldn't be allowed on. <laughs> Damn. But, um, nah, man, it's, that's the process. Like there's five PEDs steps. going on. In yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's definitely, people are. Yeah, Pumping up, getting ready for the show. Yeah, nuts, we're going after a million bucks. Yeah, you know man, I mean? yeah. Yep. 500 question psych test. Yep. Sure weird questions, too. I think it's to see if you're schizophrenic. Sure. It's just like weird questions on like, like do you feel like somebody's house. watching you? Do you feel like you want to kill your mother? Do you feel like you want like some deep questions? That's like, hold on. Who's answering yes to these? Because they should never <laughs> yeah. be allowed on any television. Okay, so this show. is just a flag. Like, uh, yeah, this is obvious answer. Okay. All right. But that makes yeah. sense. When you get the call, like, all right, cool. Game on. What info are you are you getting like this is where you're going or I mean, like man once you get that call of like okay you're going then you're like all right who else is going right. who am I going to be living with mm. for the next three months of my life you know um, and then the game starts then 
the minute you start to see the roster, you're like, yo. They tell you the roster? I fuck with Wes. I like Nelson. Okay, bet. Yo, if we already form this, and if we could get these three people on our side. So you're already going. Already. Pre game. The game, yeah. the game started. And then once you check into the hotel right before you leave for the airport, the game started. Everyone's being nice. Everyone's like, hey, hey, hey. But you already see this click is kind of already like Forming they're, they're ganged up. You know, they're grouped right. up. And then you're like, hmm, okay, Johnny's got his people over there. I'm looking at my people. I'm like, fuck, we're down a number, but that's all right. You know, like, <laughs> you know, it's, it's a million yeah. dollars on the line. And I know sometimes we don't act like it on the show, yeah. but uh, it's some real money behind this thing. So Gradually, you guys act like it as the episodes go on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> happy, 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 little less, little less, little less. Because it's less, our everyday less. life. It's yeah. like, you don't, wanna, you don't want that to always drive you throughout every decision, throughout every day. But in the back of your mind, you're like, I'm here competing for a million dollars. It's chess. It's, it's chess. chess. It's yeah. chess. And you try to play the best way you can with people in real emotion. So, I mean, do they tell a, you if you're going show. to Thailand or the Arctic? No. Or like, that's another part that's cool about it is, man, the adrenaline that you get from the show. They don't tell you where you're going. Now, do cast members find out? Is It's hard to keep it from us. We, you know, um, so usually like we have an, an idea. It says like they'll send, you, they'll Bali. Send you a packing list. You'll get okay. a packing list. Oh, God. like yo, it's about to be cold. Like they're telling us to bring sweatshirts, coats. You know, oh. damn, bring a beanie. Yeah, yeah. bring a fuck, beanie. I don't have a beanie. I don't even wear beanies, yeah. bro. Yeah, like something real heavy, like <laughs> parkas. Like okay, this is bad. Yeah, you yeah. know you're going to Iceland, so it's like damn, that's damn, crazy. Man. And the sets have to be crazy. When you see some of the sets, you just like mm -hmm. blown away at this point. Bro, the best thing is to compete under that. You go into an elimination, is you one on one versus somebody else in a movie set. Dude, I mean, there's yeah. tons of cameras and lights on you, and like this, you just want to like cut yourself and smear blood on your face. Yeah. It like, feels like Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Like, ah, like this is all that matters. Because right slowly now. over the years, it used to be just like a dirt pit, and now yeah. it's like a, like the last one was like a fucking oh, a spaceship. Full, uh, the art department. Shouts out to you guys. The art department kills it now. Like. This past season, I think they did a little too much with the spy theme. Like, we have to deactivate this yeah. bomb <laughs> before. It's like, come on, bro. Yeah. We don't need to do all that. Like, I don't think the show needs to go that heavy on the themes. I think if they leave it almost old school on, like, rivals, exes. Like, the show will take care of itself. Mm -hmm. uh, all these characters in one house will bring <laughs> enough entertainment where right. you don't have to have that extra, like, deactivate this bomb before da, da, da. like it's just a little me personally i like it old school so. yeah that, same so, yeah the gimmicks i mean after like 40 like no show has been on for 40 38 seasons yeah. like tj's out here signing exactly. 50 season contract <laughs> deals <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, this is the thing are we just getting old fellas Probably. Are we just getting old? Have you seen the NFL and Nickelodeon? It's sick. Yo, it's, it's sick. They're it's catering sick. towards that crowd. And I'm just like, I find this shit to kind of be like, you know, I'm not going to watch it. Course, I'd rather watch yeah. normal football. It's meant for your children. Right. But yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, are we, we're just getting older. Well, that's know? like when Space Man came out, right? Everybody was like, oh, it, it's not as good as the first one. First, you're 35 years old, dog. Yeah. Of course, yeah, of course like, it's not It's made good. for a kid that likes to play video games. Yeah. Yeah. Like, exactly. Or it's like when you watch a college football or the NFL, you already know automatically you're so much older than every fucking player on the field. Yeah. You're 18 years and old. And we're only in our 30s. Yeah. 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 We're like, oh, fuck. Yeah. It's disheartening, dude. Actually, when I watch the Rams, I know that I'm older than the fucking head coach. That yeah, upsets McVay. me. McVay is 35. Yeah, man, shouts out to the Rams. Going to the game on Sunday. I am right? too. You're going to I'll the game? I'll be there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Besties. Hey, man, we're up in the nosebleed. 103? Or 503. Oh, 503. <laughs> yeah. I said, 103, you on the field. I said, you on the field. What are you talking about? 503. Yeah, man, we're, we're way up there. But it's going to be a good game. It's going to be good. Be there. Niners or Rams? I'm a huge Niner fan. Oh, God, here we go. I'm the biggest Niner fan. Here we go. You a Rams fan? He's got to set the seat. Oh, yeah. yeah. oh, man. Come on, man. I've been with the Rams since they've been in L.A. You dig? Damn. Come on. Okay, okay. <laughs> but, is, no, that a, is that a flex be a since they've been in L.A.? My question to you, non-biased opinion, who do you think is going to win? Honestly? Yeah. Non-biased, I really think the Niners are going to win again. Niners. I think their defense. Run game. Run game. I think their defense will stifle everything they're doing on offense, like they've done the last six games with them. Yeah. Um, I think Shannon has McVay's number. I think he knows how to counteract everything he's doing so i think you're wrong yeah i think Lowe's uh, over there sniffing no. markers for one I think you're like, wrong you're nice. respect your pain but wrong well, listen this <laughs> yeah. is what i have to say about that i feel like the niners have won the past six games right yep i'm a big michigan guy big wolverine over here okay. big michigan fan we never beat ohio state 
I was two years old, I feel like, the last time we beat Ohio <laughs> State. But this year, what did we do? We beat Ohio State. You know what the Rams are going to do? Lose. We're gonna go in. <laughs> We're going to beat the Niners in our home field. The Super Bowl is in L.A. The yep. NFL wants the Rams in the Super Bowl to build the fan base because they know that's where the money's at. And that's what's going to happen. Do you know man. what's kind of crazy? Good game. Is that before last year, no one had ever played a home Super Bowl ever. And this it could possibly happen two years, two in, years a in a row. Two years in a row. Man. That's nuts. Yeah. That's wild. That is nuts. It's going to feel like a Niner home game on Sunday. Are we oh, going to be so many? Are we going to get, 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 nice get, nice get a nice little wager? Are we going to get a nice little wager right here? They stopped selling tickets to yeah. Niners fans. I'm not going to lie to you. I got my tickets from a, a Rams player. Nice. Yeah, That's that, clutch. Yeah. <laughs> That's clutch. You don't get more yeah. plugged in than that. Yes. Yeah. He, we're going to report him. Doesn't. We're holding him high. Yeah. We're going to report him. You guys watching this? Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. sir. Get his ass. Yeah. SoFi guy, police. Yeah. He's right here. <laughs> get him. It's the guy in red in the family and friends Have section. you been to SoFi? I have. Beautiful, it's man. Beautiful, beautiful it's stadium. It's humongous. Yep. We, yeah. Have you been to, what's the stadium? In Allegiant. Vegas? Allegiant. 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 Have you guys been to yeah. it? SoFi's yeah. better. Yeah. Next, SoFi's better. Well, by the way, in perspective. A little different, though. Allegiant cost $2 billion to make. Unbelievable. That's a lot of money. SoFi cost $5 billion to make. Yeah. The one I'm thing sure. we have here, though. $3 billion dollars Yeah, extra. They, you know L.A., we like our things pretty. You know, we're not <laughs> yeah. going to put the Death Star in Inglewood. It's not <laughs> yeah. going to happen, right? Yeah. It could cost we want a nice, pretty glass house nice that and looks bright. like a greenhouse, yeah, yeah. and it's organic. It's and a, that's what yeah. we want in Yes, LA. it's, 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 <laughs> it's GMO-free. It's organic yeah, plant stadium. Based, Thank plant you very much. Plant-based stadium. Yeah. Copy that. Yeah. Plant energy based. efficient somehow. Somehow it's energy efficient. 100%. Well, I'm... I, I want to see a wager happening right now. Yeah, whatever. We'll do something. What do you got going on? We got to figure something out here. We can do whatever. We got to whatever. We gotta figure something out here. All right. I, I got two bucks on it. Done. Two dollars. Yeah. Let's go, baby. You guys. I'll send it to The him. Venmo will be two public. Venmo. The Apple Venmo Bay. will be public. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we will show you. Big uh, By the way, going back to the challenge, when it like, I was a couple years ago, I feel like it was obviously like all the old real world road rules cast made for over yeah. over a period of time and then like they yeah. obviously got really smart started bringing other reality shows and then it went like international mm -hmm. was that really great for the show you think like how is that transition for you guys because some of them mm. they bring in are just obvious outliers for me personally i love it you okay. want to know why i love it because i get to live with these people from all over the world mm. and the more i find out i don't know shit you know <laughs> i don't know shit so I love living with these people from all these different countries and learning about like what's normal to them compared to what's normal for me. You know what I mean? Right. So like those are the life lessons. And I'm getting real deep right now. So y'all feel me on this. <laughs> those are the life lessons that I take from the challenge is just like my world perspective and the world view that I gained from the show is like something that I could never like. I got to live with people from Nigeria. I got to live with people from the Netherlands. I got to live with people from Germany. I got to live with people from Turkey. Like I'm living with these people. I'm waking up every day. I'm competing with these people. I'm going through crazy experiences with these people. And it doesn't get talked about enough, the amount of downtime that we have on the show that you mm -hmm. don't see us laying by the pool, just chopping it up. Yeah. Just, you know, having conversation. And so, man, I will forever be thankful for that, for the challenge. But I think it was good that we went uh, global. I think it was cool. I think we have enough talent in the U.S. to stay U.S. For sure. But me, as one of the people on the show, I love that we're now global. I think it's great for the brand. And hopefully they keep it up. And if not, bring that bad boy right back home to the yeah. U.S. And <laughs> we run a couple seasons now, yeah. and then we go back. You There's know, so I think they're doing something that they should have been doing a long time ago. You know, your downtime, though, no TV. No music, no, no phones. No. What like? What the hell is that like? Is Listen, that weird? Man, it's like prison. That's why I'm in this bright ass orange yeah. shirt. <laughs> I'm used to being locked up. You know what He's I mean? He's doing push ups and pull ups. Yeah. Doing push ups day. before coming here. All that, but um, <laughs> it's crazy. No music, no um, TV. Um, you get one phone call a week, ten minutes. Oh, a week. and wow, that's wow. after two weeks of already being on the show. A week. So they really make it like. They try to do a good job on creating this environment where the challenge is all that matters, right? right. Mm -hmm. Like you almost forget about home. You're like, fuck, I'm in a great place at home, but on this show, I'm in a terrible position. Yeah. So what can I do to help my position? Um, but yeah, they just, uh, it turns into a little prison camp. That's why we all want the challenge just to be fun again. And I know production is doing the best they can to make it fun. Yeah, for sure. But, um, you know, with COVID, man, I just think we're all trying to get through it. So yeah. you just in your head the whole time, like just. Oh, dude, if you see a lot of my scenes now, I'm just in bed writing. 
Like that that's a first sign of depression to me. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen depression, but my like, ass sitting in a bed writing in a journal is definitely a sign. Yeah. Um, it's a pen and pad. He'd rather be on a beach with yeah, a coconut yeah. and but now he's on Thank you. Drink in my hand, living my life yeah. just like this. But um yeah. I, hey, man. I get it. That would be like after obviously you can make small talk for so long, but then like yeah. there's so many weird relationships over the course of a few weeks like all right well, i don't really want to talk to this person right now like just <laughs> yeah, it's hard to conversate with somebody when you know that they're coming for you in a game mm. and you always try to put the game aside but you're still like fuck you yeah <laughs> fuck like you. i that? know you're coming for me like i don't know it's just any you know players you see and you're like damn this is gonna be a tough oh yeah there's they have stepped up the guy pool oh my god now, now when i c come on a challenge i'm like all these dudes are taller than me they're all bigger than me like they're not stronger though. I, you put these fools on a bench press or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> they look good, but them broids ain't picking up. Um, but no, it's just um, the competition is stiff, Crazy. man. But you want to know who, who the one is? Who's the CT. one? CT. CT every that time. That man is a different breed. He's I've a, always said that. Dad bod, no dad bod, doesn't matter. He Ooh. is. He's more athletic than what people think. He used to be a basketball player, yeah. so he's. He's, he's got the agility, he's got the acceleration, he's got the speed, the balance, like, and he's very smart. So like, he's a dangerous combination. Um, but uh, yeah, Just I would winners. say CT is, CT's up there with one of the best competitors on the challenge, for sure, hands down. Just can't stop winning. Yeah, he's good, he's good. He's good, man, he's good. So I have a question for you. So like the repeat guys, I think everyone equates being on TV mm -hmm. with Rich. No. no, 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 not at you, all. You know what I'm saying? Like people are really like, oh, cool, yeah. he's on TV. Like yeah. obviously, all the time. They're like there, he's now Fame rich, equals right? money in yeah. everybody's eyes. In everybody's, everybody's eyes. eyes. Yeah. What is the f what are the finances really like for reality TV? Uh shitty, terrible. I mean, think about it. How many reality TV shows do you see out there? I mean, some of these reality shows, people aren't even getting paid to go on. Yeah. Mm. I mean, like people are just wanting to the put exposure. that spark sure. in their life or to get themselves on TV to then build a brand. Get yeah. those Instagram followers. Yeah, get those followers up, yeah. you know? So, um, yeah, I think it's... Are yeah. the repeat players getting money to be on the show? Yeah. Like Usually the more levels. seasons you've done, like a bet, uh, the more money you contract. can start to make. Right. You know, um, the more shows you've done, the more room you have to build your resume. Like, I have a pretty nice resume. So if I were to approach a show, I have more wiggle room. Like, hey, no, I don't want to be paid that. I want to be paid this amount. This right. is why I want to be paid this amount. Yeah. I've been on 13 shows, 18 shows, whatever it may be. And then the producers and them, they're probably reading it like, you know what? He's, he's right. You know, he. I know when I... When I lock this guy into my show, I know he's going to bring it. You right. know what I mean? And you bring and the fan base, people, right? There's people that are committed yes. and, and emotionally invested in the way that you perform on these shows year over year. Yeah, right? and I think it's unique that, like I said, I think I'm in a unique position as long, uh, as long as other people on the real world is because we've all been on TV for quite a long time and we've got to grow on TV. So these people have, you know, I got some people that come up to me to this day in Vegas or whatever it may be. And they're like, yo, I used to watch you back in high school or I used <laughs> yeah. to watch you in my college days when I was being, when I was partying and doing that, you know? Yeah. So right. it's cool, man. Um, I definitely think it helps to build the resume out and then um, hopefully the show's bite. Yeah. Have you seen a lot of like trains, like, like truly successful translations from reality TV to like outside of that? Or are people really just kind of locked into that lifestyle for a very long period of time? Um, I would say majority you get locked into that lifestyle, yeah. but I would say there is room for you to adventure out. You know, there's a lot of people doing a lot of things outside of just reality TV. And you're like, sure. oh, wow, you started on this show. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So I think as long as you use it as a springboard, man, you you make what you want out of it. You How know? about Johnny Bananas getting his own show? Yeah, NBC. happy for him. Yeah. Proud of him, man. Good for him. You know, um, he's got his own show. Johnny's got his own show doing his thing at NBC. And um, yeah, it's That's pretty dope. legit. It's a lot. Between like Teen Mom and The Challenge, mm -hmm. what portion of your year is not on reality TV? Man, I don't know. In between my Instagram, <laughs> I try, yeah. like, like, I don't know, man. I put a lot out there. And I think the reason I'm, I'm doing that is just because I'm so used to being judged already. Sure. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, like we said, like, 22 is when I first started reality TV. Um, I grew up with the camera in my face. I already get excited around the cameras. Yeah. So it all just kind of 
it's coming together into just me and my life and kind of how I like to live it. And it's a blessing that, you know, we're still shooting Teen Mom right now. And, um, and I got the challenge. So it's awesome. It's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It is a lot. That's <laughs> a lot. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot, lot bro. It's a lot. It's, a lot. it's, it's like, cool, man. Those two shows, though, particularly. Yeah. I have like a pretty rabid fan, fan base. base. Yeah, man. And they're like really invested into it. Have you ever had some crazy fan encounters oh, in yeah, real life? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely some crazy. But I'll be honest. For the most part, my fans are badass. Like, everyone's cool. Everyone's real respectful. I've had a couple weird instances where like somebody has come up to like my daughter Ryder and they'll be like, hi Ryder, like can I take a picture with you? And I'm standing right Wait. there and I'm like, first of all, that's a no. <laughs> I'm her father, yeah. so out of here. You know what I mean? Like, no, and you should, you should honestly approach me first before you say hi 10, to Ryder. Like, like, hi Corey, hi Ryder. Don't come up to my daughter and ask her for a photo when I'm right there. Like, that that's is so weird. Weird, don't do it people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, How old is she? Other than that, she's four. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh, bro, what? she's a star. She's a what's star. What's like, Ryder hey, hey is adult, a star. how are you? <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, hey, four year old, you yeah. got a minute? <laughs> Isn't that weird? Like those are the only weird instances. Um, uh, yeah, that's really it. That's really it. I feel like people get really into those shows and they have do. real they opinions do. about what's happening on them. And they, they know you. Yeah. People yeah. have an opinion. Yeah. Have you heard of social media? Yeah. <laughs> if I don't put my daughter in her seatbelt the way that they want me to do it, I'm in the wrong. You right. know? Or yeah. if I don't parent the way they want me to parent, then I'm in the wrong. You know, that's just their perspective. That's their point of view. I get it. But, um, you know, it's all good, though. I don't feel bad for us one bit. Us reality stars, we ask for right, it. Right, right. You know, all these stars are like, oh, we have it so rough. I. <laughs> I'm never going to complain. The minute that I complain about this lifestyle or what I'm doing for work, then it's just not for me. So um, I think that, you know, we all have it good. We all have it lucky. And um, count your blessings. You for did. sure. But obviously the fans, wild. Yeah. Crazy. Fans, crazy. Crazy fans. Co like the, Love you guys. But you guys are nuts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nuts. <laughs> crazy. But the people you're on the show with, like, the Twitter battles and all yeah. these things that go on. Yeah, the pettiness. The, you got to love petty. Is the beef, like, really real? Translating some of us, on and off some the show? Of us, some of those, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> some of us, yeah. But, I mean, at the end of the day, I think the longer you've been in the game, you start to realize that, okay, I'm kind of – you consider yourself an entertainer to a certain aspect. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know. Some people are real. Other people's aren't. I feel like the real people, you could kind of read through it. You could kind of see through it. Like, all right, this stuff isn't adding up. Like, this person is dating this person, and then they break up. I don't know. You know, there's it's a dark industry, man. I don't know if you guys want to go down this rabbit hole that I've been <laughs> down. It took me a lot to climb out of it, but uh, <laughs> this is it. We just we're getting, it's, it's right a here, deep you know rabbit we're, hole. We're getting into a dark place here, fellas. Down. We're getting into a dark place. I feel like, so, though, yeah. once you get used to it, right, if you can go do a season or two of any reality TV and you decide, like, all right, cool, I like it, then you're like, oh, shit, now, like, I'm all in. I'm diving in, yeah. I want yeah. it all. I mean, I don't know if there's ever been a reality TV show where, like, I haven't been happy that it's ended, if that makes mm, sense. Like, yeah. each one, yeah. I'm kind of like, because it's work, you know? It's not like I always have a camera in my face or you're always shooting something or the producers are asking you, hey, you know, why don't you go shoot this scene with so-and-so? And it's cool and all. You enjoy it. But it's not like you're in your bed at home, just relaxing, yeah. you know. You're so, always okay, turned right. on. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Like it's, it's hard to turn let it your, off. And, and you can't really let your guard down in those circumstances, right? Especially no. when there's a camera everywhere. Yeah, and in these shows, they put room cameras up. Producers love to show the room footage. <laughs> where, of course, where the, where black the guys black, are yeah. in there talking a whole bunch of shit, and <laughs> yeah. they don't think the producers are gonna air it. Stupid. Of course, they're gonna air that. Um, <laughs> Can you imagine how much footage they sift through? Oh, hours, man. like days, days. Worth. Just the cause what? There's probably 50 cameras. Yeah, and you have then to be weird hours? to be an editor. I feel like for real, like you have to be. Yo. And I tell them that all the time. I'm like, Yo. for you guys to sit there and watch me brush my teeth and take a shit, like <laughs> the voyeurism. You gotta be messed up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's not Yo, something I would sign up for. Yeah, like when I you're taking know, a shit like, with the mic, you're like, oh shit, y'all just oh, heard yeah, that. Oh yeah, I feel ah. bad for the audio people. I at least <laughs> have learned to do them a solid and quick unscrew the mic pack so the batteries fall out so it's off and then you know when you get done doing the biz you yeah. go ahead screw it back on and you're good to go <laughs> yeah. you're welcome the best yeah. part is <laughs> the little sound effects they add when someone's like tiptoeing like that's yeah. gonna stop the cameras from seeing them or something <laughs> or you see zipper unzipped and then you hear that 
the extra audio <laughs> like, you're adding. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> go ahead, yeah. editors. You guys do your thing. That's yeah, that's funny. great. Are there a lot of stuff that you, when you're, or when do you get to actually see the final cut? When it airs. No. You're watching no. it when yes, everyone else bro. is watching it. Yes. Oh, <laughs> yes. That's, that's the crazy part, too, that doesn't get talked about enough is that, you know, yeah, we usually see the same time you guys air. Wow. Yeah. Damn. Same time. So you're like, Real life. all right, 10 o'clock rolls around. Yeah. All right. Yep. What the hell did that motherfucker say about oh, me? Oh, not exactly. <laughs> You're like, so I remember uh -huh. we were not cool at that time. Or you watch somebody's confessional and you're like, damn, we were cool all season and you had that to say. You just learn the game. You yeah. can understand sure. how it goes. You know? And when, you, think you have an edge up because you, you're like a vet. Right? 100%. So you know what these people are probably thinking, especially the, the newer cast members. You're like, For all sure. right, this person hasn't I gone I could produce this. the show. Wow. I'll be real with you. I could produce the show. Like, when I go into my interviews, I know what sound bites are looking for. This is the craziest season ever. That shit's going to be in the trailer. <laughs> yeah. um, you just learn the game. Yeah. Like, you, you've done it for so long. You've been around these people for multiple seasons. You see what sound bites they use in the episodes when the season's airing. And right. you're like, oh, word, you guys like that? Okay, word. I'm going to use that so, for the next one. Yep. Yeah, so it's just kind of like, you well, know. Those, those confessionals, right, I've always wondered this. Like, you're essentially commenting on what's happening on the show at that moment. Yeah, like, right. When are those confessionals happening, though? Uh, maybe a week or two after. Okay. So it's hard. But sometimes uh. if you were to get into... What happened this season and I had to go do an interview the next day. Just, if something crazy happens, then usually they call you in the next day because they want that real emotion. They want right, that passion, right. yeah. They want to feel what you were feeling, you know? Oh, you pissed? All yeah. right, come talk to me about it. But usually <laughs> it's like two weeks. Like, hey, a lot we're, of stuff we're going happened. back four episodes, right? You shoot about an episode every three days. So I don't know how much it is I can really be telling. But, um, yeah, so you go shoot your interviews and – Usually they bring you back about two weeks and you're just running through. You know, you had this conversation with so-and-so about who you were going to vote in or who you weren't. Mm -hmm. Two weeks after the whole show is over or two weeks after it, uh, something no, happened? No, no yeah. two weeks after it happened. Got that it. That event okay. took place Got it. about a week or two after. Yeah, That's kind of crazy. You kind of get have to get yourself back in like that mindset. Yeah, it's hard. So sometimes you can even tell producers like, hey, this recently happened. Let me talk about it now. And then we can go back. Two yeah, weeks, yeah. you know, but that's you, a vet move already, you start too. forgetting stuff too, or you really want to hit a vet move. They're like, Oh, you said there's this during this argument, and this person said that. You'd be like, I don't remember, yeah. they don't like to hear that. <laughs> they don't, they don't hear, I don't remember, they hate it. Plead uh, the fifth, you yeah, know what I mean? like, plead <laughs> the fifth, but uh, yeah, man, that's dope, man. That's, that's really interesting. Cool. I've always wondered that, like, when, when it's actually happening because people yeah. still seem like really like if they're mad like they seem upset or if they're like i'm coming for you or whatever yeah. if it's like right after the happened. producers do a good job of trying to capture that real emotion you know you'll be in that room twist the knife a in little a bit in a weird hotel somewhere in a weird country in a <laughs> room with the green screen behind you and the producer and the camera guy and you gotta feel that emotion again yeah. capture it all right i mean I, that makes sense then yeah, yeah. that is kind of crazy though another mystery that we want to solve yes when you get eliminated, yeah. someone gets eliminated, yeah. what actually happens? <laughs> yeah. they, they Weird go, feeling. They, they go running Weird out. feeling. And everyone else is like, all right, cool, blah, blah, yeah. blah. You won. DJ Lavin's still there. When you turn the corner and no one else sees it, what happens? Like, get in the car. Like, You're on a fucking yeah, plane. I, I feel like <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm envisioning. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I'm envisioning like a kidnapping. They just shove you in a van. <laughs> Dude, it's speed it's close to a kidnapping. <laughs> they dump it's you. Close to that. Yeah. The they only thing they don't the do is put the bag over your head. Other than that. Your ass is getting in a you car right showering. away. You are going to You're going straight to a random hotel. You get your shower stuff. And then usually you have to do your exit interview. So usually you have a three to four hour interview after you've already lost. Oh. Yes. Yeah. That's so it just rough. hurts. I just try to get through my. This season was rough for me. I'll be real. Because I did three seasons in a row. The first two I went to the final. So that was cool. I didn't know what the elimination process was like. This right. has been some years since I've experienced that. And then this past season, I lost an elimination. I was like, this is weird. Like, you just, I was just thinking, like, they're really shooting this show back in that house. And I'm in this hotel by myself. No phone, no nothing. Waiting for my interview. And then after you finish that exit interview, you get your cell phone. You get your flight itinerary. And you're out the next day. Damn. The next day, you're on that airplane like, listening wow. to all this new music. You're like, this is cool. But you're sitting in that seat like, these people don't know what the hell I just been through. Yeah. Like, they don't know what I just experienced. I just had to jump off a cliff and eat cow balls. <laughs> Y'all don't know shit. 
<laughs> like it's it's a crazy, crazy <laughs> experience. Crazy. This guy's just watching some stupid Netflix show right yeah. next to you. Like, hey, you're you living a real good life. What, yeah. You type in an Excel spreadsheet. Yeah, you think yeah, life's so easy, you don't you? It's easy. Like, well, I ate cowboy cowballs and I lost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, bro, no. it, it, it's wild, man, and it. It's awesome though. That's dope. It's cool. That's I always dope. wondered that, like how that process works. So your bags are really truly packed. Like when you, mm -hmm. if you lose, like when you. It's bad luck, man. I hate when people do that because they always lose. They're like, I'm not packing my bag tonight. I'm not losing an elimination. Bye. Ass is gone the next God. day, <laughs> man. And I'm going through your stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but um, yeah, you definitely got to pack that bag. You never know. You never know what you get. That's crazy. Yeah. And I think that's cool, too, is that you never know the elimination. So you always got to stay ready, man. And, right. And they're all so different. You know, sometimes you get something that's real janky, you know, adds a little bit of luck in there. And other times you get something that's more physical, you yeah, know, so pure strength. it's a good it's a good mix. It's a good mix. I can't believe that. What? And then on the other side, what's it like to actually make the final get there, but not win not finish or I not know finish. a lot about that. <laughs> but uh nah man i want to get that first place um it's cool though just to complete the season feels good right like i'll be lying even though you don't win that money you fucking get to the top of that mountain in whatever country you're in dude it feels good to be done it feels good to call your family on your phone on facetime just to say like i'm coming home you yeah. know like 90 days is a long time to be away from your kids your family your girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever it may be. It's a long time to be away. So um, it just feels good to complete it. And then right away, you're just like, you start thinking about the whole season in your head. And I always think about like how to produce the season, how each episode will kind of go. Like, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's gotta be addict. Like, like maybe not reality show in general, but the challenge point of it, if you really, if you like that app, like you're an athlete, you like the game and shit and all that stuff. I but feel like are you, you ready for the hurry up and wait? Cause don't get it wrong, you might compete for 30 seconds. Is your is your little run from your goat cart to jump off of this mountain and grab as many flags as you can takes what? 30 seconds, 45 seconds? You're waiting on location for like five, six hours. So we're in like a bus waiting for production to set up all the cameras to, you know, cause talent, they just wanna make sure it's on location. Yeah. Is the talent bus here? Bet they're here. All right, let, it, let us make sure we get everything set up. Sometimes the challenges don't always go as planned. Right. You know, so, oh, damn, the, the tester broke his leg, so we got to come back tomorrow. <laughs> we got to come back tomorrow. He just broke his leg. The tester Yo. just broke his damn leg. And I'm not doing do this that. shit. <laughs> yeah. like, sorry, the parachute broke, crazy. guys. We'll try again tomorrow. I swear, it is insane. They're like, yeah, the weather's not good. Um, if it's about five miles an hour faster, you could die. <laughs> We're like, oh. we're not fucking flying this helicopter and hanging off of this helicopter. We're not doing it. And production oh. is like, yes, you are. We paid you. <laughs> yeah. You're doing that. So um, it's that just. wild. It, are you ready for the hurry up and wait? Yeah. It's a lot of that. How I feel like the challenge, just like all sports, by the way, because this is just probably like, I think, guy syndrome in general. Mm hmm I could do that. I could do that shit. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I could do that easy. shit. I watch it all the time. I'm like, bro, I could do that Bruh, shit. It you know looks what? so easy when you watch it. He's so it. slow. I can hang on that shit. So easy. Come on. Like, what? Oh, that looks easy. Yeah. Two minutes easily. You get out there, it's like 10 seconds of you holding on to that thing. Like, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Did Watching you? it on the couch is completely different. I yeah. promise you that. Yeah. Promise you. Were you like, do you watch some of the challenges? Like, man, that looks way different than how it was. Everyone. Yeah. Everyone looks dull compared to what it feels like. Um, it's almost like if you take a picture on like an iPhone, but you're there in person, right? right. That in person, you're like, excuse me. You're like, oh wow, this is, this is lovely, right? This scene is crazy. And then you take it on your iPhone and you're like, damn, it just doesn't feel the same. That's how it feels on every episode, good, every dude. challenge. That's you're like, put it. damn, like they didn't show that or, you know, it's just, yeah, it yeah. feels different For when sure. you watch it, yeah. I mean, shout out to, everyone was doing it because it's probably because i assume that would you guys want to do it do i have three fellas sitting right here that would love to do the show by the way i am a challenge has been probably my only reality show i've watched continually for a super long time nice. i love the show so i would yeah i love the amazing race survivor i don't know if i would do survivor but mm -hmm. amazing race style challenge style stuff i would do it if, would i do well who knows probably not yeah but 
I love them. I think they're cool. Give it a shot. Yeah. yeah. You never know. 10,000%. Yeah. yeah. Right? In my head, I'm a fucking athlete. I'm a fucking athlete, right? Yeah. It's my yeah. head. And I'm fucking smart. Like, of course. Mostly, yeah. mostly just to check it off of a list. Never been on a reality show. Like, if I got offered one outside of a relationship one, like, I wouldn't want to do something where I brought in my wife. Because I just, I just know that that's a question that we're going to ask you. But like, if I did one on my own, then yeah. Yeah, it's less to worry about. It's less yeah. responsibility. You're like, all I got to do is take care of myself. Yeah. If your girl's there, you're like, I got to take care of me and her. It's a lot. I've done that. It's a lot. So that, that's my next X question. X on the beach. You never want to do a show called X on the beach. You know where it comes from, though? It's like watching like Legends of the Hidden Temple as a kid, right? Oh, and like, what? All that wow. kind of stuff. American that Gladiator. Yeah. Gladiator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gladiator. All that kind of yeah. stuff is like, I've always been like, Oh, I want to do that. Legend I want to do that. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. That's what got me into the those challenges. Right. Like he said, watching all that stuff as a kid and always just thinking like, damn, th those guys are cool. Like those are the exactly. guys. Those are the It looks fellas. fun. It looks challenging. I There's rarely anything yeah. that I would just say no to f for one time. Eating like, sucks, by the way, guys. Eating is That's by the, far the worst thing. Yeah, I, I can see that. Like it's eating? just eating. Like, like eating eat. the cow balls or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Like getting through that is tough. I'm not going to lie. Like I, used to, I applied one time for Fear Factor. I didn't get it. Really? No, I wanted to do Fear Factor. That would be fun. Could you do that? Can only you eat cow nuts right now. I could eat anything. Uh, the, honestly, no joke. The only thing that the challenge doesn't do, which I love, that Fear Factor did, was putting you in like the fucking coffins with like the animals, like the snakes, or like covering you in like cockroaches. I couldn't fucking do it. There's no fucking. Yeah, we've way. done something like that before. You did. Yep. yep. Your head's in a box, and oh, they I had all these one. snakes, and oh. you had to kill grasshoppers or. But, or cockroaches, one of the two, grasshoppers or cockroaches, and then collect the grasshopper or cockroach and then spit it through a tube. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> like, While yo, these snakes are crawling all yo, over my head. I'm not scared of them. like, yo, Corey, all right, just for this challenge, this is what you're going to do. Like, can you imagine? Dude, they what, could uh, tell me anything, and I'm going to do it. <laughs> and I'm going to do it. I've realized that in my what, life. That's they you, could uh, tell me anything, <laughs> yeah. and I'm game. And that's something that's I love wild. about myself, yeah. but that's wild. it gets a little dangerous here. You have to wonder what the meetings are like. All right, cool. We've done 37 seasons now. We got to 38. Like, yeah. what's next? So we're going to yeah. have them spit the cockroach through the tube. Yeah. And then it's oh my it's got to be nuts. That's wild. That's when, nice. you, when you walk out and you see something for the first time, yeah. do you really have any idea what's going on? Or are you just like waiting for this explanation? I mean, everyone tries to assume what they see we yeah. see a platform we see this water fuck we're 30 feet above water by the way that's the worst um water over heights worst challenges no one likes them they suck they hurt when you hit the water it's like, it's like we'll do anything fantastic except for the heights though. over water fantastic yeah. television yeah. great great fantastic great television, television. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that feeling that, that, that yeah. feeling you never get used to i don't Your care how many challenges drops. i've oh. done Hitting that water, you never know how you're going to hit it. <laughs> so it's always scary. It's always scary. And everyone, water always, water looks, everyone always looks stupid as shit. Yeah, too. You know what yeah. Like, yeah. Like, which is great. Nothing's yeah. graceful. Nothing's graceful. Like uh, all right, back to the family stuff. Leading into what it's like myself. You said family stuff? Family stuff. Yeah, yeah, My, yeah. Myself, Drew, both have kids here. Congrats, Both, man. both Congrats serious on that. relationships. Good dads all the way around. How, how in the world do you keep a healthy relationship going? Being on television? with your family stuff actually happening on TV. Like the challenge mm -hmm. is one thing, right? Mm -hmm. That's a separate world, a separate universe, right. nothing to do with real life Corey. Right. But you now actually have kids, exes, mm -hmm. significant others mm -hmm. on reality TV. Please yeah. tell us how um, that works. I think one is how long I've been doing reality TV. And I think two, being in the spotlight in the way that I am, Helps me become better. You know what I mean? Because I know if I do mess up, that shit's going to be well known. Everywhere. You know what I mean? <laughs> Everywhere. Right. Like if I, if I slip up in any way, everyone's going to know about it. So it just helps me kind of stay focused, stay, um, yeah, just stay focused, you know, and find out what I want in life. And what I want in life is to give my daughters the best life that they can have, you know. And so I'm trying to be that, that first rock of my family Right. To kind of do it. I'm taking my girls on trips. You know, I'm taking them to San Diego, San Francisco. I want them to see the things that, you know, I wasn't able to see because I was living in Michigan growing up. Um, so, yeah, and on top of that, I get to – they're all having a good time, and I get to experience these things too, man. Mm -hmm. So um, it's all a blessing, man. It's all, it's all lovely. Do I try like to it? do the best I can. Do your daughters like it? 
They like, love it. They really? love it. They love yeah, it. He's man. that she's a little superstar. Yeah. yeah, she's a little superstar. She loves it. Ryder's been on TV since I think she was like eight months old. So for her, it's That's nothing. Crazy. She's comfortable in front of the camera, guys. She it's nothing for her. She has her own nail salon. Shouts out uh, to Nails by Ryder. Make sure y'all check it out. My little girl, she's got her own nail uh, line, and it's legit. That's dope. Um, That's dope. But yeah, no, it's what she knows. It's all she knows. Now my little girl Mila, all she knows is the pandemic and masks and things like that. Oh, right. But we crazy. we started shooting some Teen Mom, and she's been around the cameras. And yeah, it's almost like that's how I was raised around my grandma. This is going back to the grandma conversation right. with her and that camera, right? I was so used to it being around, and I think Ryder is going to be the same way, just because that's all she knows. And so um, it's awesome, man. I want her to be a little pop star, yeah. I mean, at this point now, well, that, that, that's the question, too, right? Yeah, that whatever so she wants to do, she will be successful in. And I told her that and and we'll do what we can to make you successful. So if you want to play a sport, you know, I'm going to be right there. Mm -hmm. Right. If you want to be a pop star. I'm there. If you want to be a doctor, if you want to do that, whatever it may be, I'm there to support Love you. That. Right. Love and that. I'm sure you guys are the same way with your kids. 100%. Like, whatever you guys want, whatever. I'm there to support you. I don't care where you go. You right, know, yeah. so. I mean that is a lot of pressure though, like for yeah. you to have the family in front of the world. I don't, I don't even consider it pressure. That's crazy really? to hear you say that because for me, it's, normal. it's not even pressure. It's just like, it's just like normal. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. normal. For, for, I guess it's normalized normal. because that's what he's grown up doing. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't know. Yeah, I mean I think most people would say obviously like when they do their shows, right? Yeah. You're, like I said, you're in a different world. Yeah. Like that's not like the and challenge. It's cool world. though because all my friends too like. I've been with my girl for so long now that they just know what the deal is. Like, and all my friends are single, living their best life, and I fully support it. Right. You know what I mean? Like, fully support it. Thank but you, bro. We appreciate you. You know what I mean? I support all my single guys out there. Don't get me wrong. It's low know? over there. I had some player ways back in that day, yeah. baby. The, ske the but, schedule uh, is just different. Yeah, schedule's yeah. different. But, bro, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm so happy with my life and where I am that, like, right just really happy and in a good place so that's i'm gonna awesome. continue to just you know push continue uh, to push baby you said we didn't do research earlier and that's wrong do your research <laughs> uh, <laughs> let me hear let me hear these facts let's go. Let's come and, in my way. and you uh you posted some i'm gonna put you on the spot right now yeah 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 because this is what the internet wants to know all we're, right we're here right. for the internet all right come on <laughs> yeah. uh, come on tmz you, yeah you posted some pictures of yourself yeah. and taylor okay. in san francisco the other day yes yes you did yes and you google your name right now and the main question that comes the, up, the, the, it's pages the main of this comes question up. that comes up is what is if this guy, Corey, is going to propose to Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> it literally, if you type so, in your name, I know. So, and this just happened. Up. You were Listen, just man. there. So it's fresh on the Internet's mind. I we came on here. this podcast to <laughs> have some laughs. Yeah. Have some <laughs> to laugh with you guys. Joke around. <laughs> we just got serious. I have to have this talk at home all the time. Oh. I have to deal with this from the fans. Now I'm dealing with it from these three this is gentlemen it from the boys. Right here. The boys. From the boys. Uh, but no, man, you know, if there's one thing I've done is I don't really listen to the fans or I don't listen to the outside noise. Right. right? I don't listen to outside noise. Um, I'm going to do what feels right to me. Yeah. You know, back when everyone was telling me to be with Cheyenne, be with Cheyenne, I caught a lot of heat with that because obviously to this day, I'm not with Cheyenne. She's right. happily married. She's got her own kids with her man. And... I'm going to continue to do me, man. And when that timing's right, you guys will not know about it. So <laughs> just keep that's scrolling on the Instagram that's page. A great and when you see a picture of us being married and living happily ever after, that's when you guys will see it, man. But it's great nothing answer. but love between me and y'all. But when it comes to something like that, I definitely want to do it more private. Um, and when the time, when I feel the timing's right, you know? Of course. Perfect answer. That's yeah, perfect. man. You, you know, can ask Drew the, you Outside can ask Drew noise the same. is outside noise, but I'm like Tom Brady, baby. We block that thing out, and we take our team to the championship, yeah, but not this year. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, can ask Drew, my God. you can ask Drew the same question, by the way. Drew's yeah, the yeah. Same I'm boat. not married. I'm in the same boat. We've been together almost been eight, <laughs> eight years. We have a house together. Just had a baby two years ago, and I get it. Once a month for yeah. sure. Yeah. Once a month. <laughs> what, what are have you doing? You so, know, you, so do buying you all this other shit. Where's the ring? Where's the fucking ring? Do you have it planned out in your head? Do we have? No. Me it it should have happened. Good. Honestly. Yeah. It, yeah. Good. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. I, was I bet. Yeah. I was like, sure. No, no. Cool, it's cool, not cool. planned out. It's not pre-planned or premeditated. It should have happened a while ago. But you know, life happens. We get bu for busy sure. building businesses. Yeah. You're off doing two challenges yeah. a year. Another show. It's like. 
It'll happen. COVID. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not COVID. Yeah, it's yeah, COVID. <laughs> COVID's it's hard. Are you going to get like 80 to 100 people, whatever it may be, together in one space right yeah. now? And it's then it's like, like with the proposing thing, it's like now do I have to do something extravagant for the fucking internet? Yeah. For all her friends to fucking, <laughs> oh my God, that was Finally. so Finally. Yeah. Yeah. Like just us. That's the pressure we deal with. That's when you guys hear it, it's not fair. You know? I'm pretty sure Lo and I, for the fair. views, would appreciate some type of special. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come on, Drew. Give them a special. Some resonance. Podcast special. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Breaking news. He ties the knot. Yeah. yeah. And look, hey, Corey said they can produce the show. We get Corey come in here. <laughs> I could. Produce I could literally produce, produce the show. No proposal. problem. We'll come How much them. money do you think you would need to start your own show? Like, start, like a real reality show? Like a real reality show. Uh, what number are you guys thinking it would take? Probably not. Probably, a, probably like six mil. Hi. Yeah. Really? Those, That's I a mean, lot, I feel. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Yeah. It, it depends what network. Would you have the answer? No. Okay. Oh, I mean, okay. I have numbers in my head that yeah. I've been told that this project costs that, this one costs that, you know, so I have numbers. Without needing any crazy extravagant sets like you guys? I mean, these... <laughs> These guys could shoot a damn reality show on ten bucks. So like, these yep. <laughs> dudes are shooting this all by themselves right now. They have no help. Exactly. But they are pulling it Pressure. off. I'm telling and you. And this is strap a amazing. GoPro to our heads. They could pull this thing off with ten grand. By the way, by the way, podcast. Yeah, we just get. We don't. We don't. You know, they we're not need, over here jumping from airplanes. They're gonna give right you now. the yeah. grade exactly. A content. Exactly. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Do you have ideas for your own, like a, a show that you would do on your own? Yeah, Love I that. do. Spin off the I have a spin great off. show. It yes. sucks because I know I can't ask you what the show is. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, I, I give you guys a little sneak peek. There you Good go. thing okay. I patent this show, so anybody out there. But, um, you know, right now the shows that I feel that are running on MTV is like ridiculousness. Mm -hmm. Catfish is continual. A show that I had in mind that I wanted to kind of produce was like, um, kind of like I would be the host of the show, and each week we would have a different celebrity guest on the show. And basically what they would have to do is conquer their fear. Ooh. And once they conquered that fear, then what we do is go back into the community and do some type of good deed. It's called giving back, right? Cool. So like you take that celebrity, you interview them, you do whatever, driving in a car, asking them questions, whatever it may be, you're going to that fear. Whatever these celebrities fear doing. People love watching celebrities. They love watching them do something they would never normally do. We take them, we do that weird thing that they would never normally do Are and then that's you pro that you've probably done already yeah that maybe i've done and maybe i do with them right. and i encourage them to do it and then um the second half of the show is kind of like where you get the tear jerker part of the show right you get in your feelings you feel good about it and we just give back to somebody that maybe needs it or a community that needs some help and uh, you call it the give back, man. That's right, man. We're going to get this show going. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I love it. MTV, what's going on? I'm what's going on, Viacom? Yeah, Beauty yeah. Murray. Get it going. Murray, Viacom. Anybody. Mess with me. What just happened? I know. Are you pretty restrictive if you, like for other networks and stuff? Like, could you actually No, go? I could go do whatever I want, you know? That's dope. Yeah. So Netflix also. You, know you want guys? to know who's strict? It's like CBS has a strict contract. Like those big like survivor people, survivor yeah. people. They're under strict contract. Um yeah, MTV, not so much. Um, they just don't want me in, a, in another show that's competing with the network at the same time, same day. I can't be on a show at 8 o'clock on MTV called The Challenge and then be on a show at 9 o'clock on VH1 called um, The Competition. Right. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, Something yeah. like that. Makes that sense. makes sense. Are yeah. you... Um, do you think that you would want to actually do another show outside of the ones that you're already doing, yeah. like yeah, 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 simultaneously? Yeah. Sign me up. I love Sign that. Me up. Just anything. I'll do whatever. Open. Said, there's just been open applications. He said, "This is what I do." It adds it. In, it adds that spark into your life. Like I get bored easily, and that's I, a big I, problem I found is that I just get bored easily, and it's probably because of all the craziness that goes on in my <laughs> yeah, life. Like right? you can see. Uh, but uh, it's like yeah. an athlete in off season, yeah. right? They're just kind of like, okay, well, this is it's really nice yeah. for a bit. Like you said, then you they go start home. to rap and then they start to act <laughs> because they're bored. They're right. bored. They're like, yo, I already know how to hoop. Like, yeah. I got many talents and I'm right there with them. You're like, gonna have a song coming out. I can Antonio rap. Brown or I can <laughs> act. I can do this. I can do that. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> <Here we go. laughs> no, nah, man. Uh, yeah, you just get bored. You get bored. Are MTV challengers professional athletes? No, hell no. No, what? no. Could you don't what? consider you don't consider that like a like a athlete in some way, a professional paid athlete? The veterans? I consider us paid entertainers. Okay. There's okay. a difference, okay. right? We're doing more entertaining than we are competing. Right. 
Like, honestly, like maybe in the episode you watch that competition for 30 minutes. They make that competition a 30 minute part of the, But for the most part, we're entertaining, mm. you know, so I consider reality stars entertainers more so than I do professional sports because the challenge is more of a reality show than it is a competition. As much as we all want it to be heavily competition, it's a reality show, my friend. Yeah. It's a reality show. Um, you know? That's not that you broke that down to us, for sure. That was good. Yeah, yeah. you know, like, you I, I think way. we're entertainers. Do I think, like, some of that physical aspect comes into us entertaining? Hell yeah, you know? Right. And especially me, I have that sports background. Love sports, ride or die sports. Um... But I will not say we're professional athletes because until I get paid per how many <laughs> bench presses I can do <laughs> yeah. or get that minimum contract, yeah, get or, NFL minimum. yeah, you know, I don't know. But uh, I guess if you want to say we're professional athletes, you could slide us in there a little bit. ESPN has been doing some challenge coverage, which is cool. You yeah. know, um, what's his name? Dan Orslowski. Dan Orlowski. The dude who yeah. covers the NFL. Yeah, he Orlowski. always makes fun of Fessy. So <laughs> shout out to him. I appreciate that. Everyone. Needs, yeah. So, uh, But yeah, I think it's cool. I think the challenge is gaining more steam and that's awesome. That's dope. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Do you think that um, do you guys sell jerseys? Does no. challenge sell jerseys? No, I think we do, but I think we uh, give it to charity. Okay. I think Got we it. usually donate. Um, I know I sold a couple of my, like, jerseys and, like, shorts, and I usually just give it away to charity and give oh, it to a good Are you talking about the actual cause. ones? Yeah, we don't yeah. want to give it to scumbags like you fellas, right? Yeah, 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 yeah We yeah. want to give it to somebody right, that Right, someone nice. Put it immediately up on eBay. Someone's, someone's somebody legit. that <laughs> just yeah. put on eBay. Yeah. Immediately on eBay. Yeah. You know, some yeah. chicks right just, you know, yeah. Max bid, Max yeah. bid, for sure. Give me that. Give me that sweatness right now. Signed, autographed. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like I understand now what you're saying after I talk to you more. Like, the off-season for people must, like, you're really cool to get off 30, 30 days or whatever. You're like, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, it's been great to be around you guys again, too. But, like, I got to get back. Yeah, yeah, where's that next thing? You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And especially, like, right now is a long break. I mean, we shot the season that just aired on TV. Shoot, I don't even know when we shot it. But, um, yeah, I can't say, but there's – Definitely another season in the works. Yeah. Got it. Nice. Yep. Last, last question. When you're yep. prepping yep. for the seasons, yeah. are you like, you don't have to get ready if you stay ready, or are you just chilling for a little bit? And then no, you, man, this is my life. Yeah. I live the gym. I live weights. No, nah, but this is just something that I personally work out just for my mental. Right. Honestly, Same. I like to feel good about myself. When I feel like shit and I look in the mirror and I'm like, damn, like, I, I, I don't play good. I don't perform well, right? You want to look, look good, good, play good. Look good, play yeah. good. So, like, Dion. I love picking up the weights. I love working out. It's always been a part of my life, so it's perfect that my job, it goes hand in hand with that, right? So, you know, some people take the off offseason um, to really enjoy their time. Other people train hard. Whatever it may be, man. Wish you the best. Right. You know? Yeah, I feel that. Wish oh, you the best. I appreciate you coming on the show, dude. Yeah, man. This was appreciate great. Appreciate you, easy. fellas. This easy. is easy. Easy. Light easy. work. Guys. Easy talk. Corey Warden. Every other reality show that you see on TV, he's on <laughs> yeah, it, man. <laughs> Got the MTV tat yeah. on me. You, you have know. the amazing race plug. Put him on it. You know what yep. I mean? Yep. Survivor, Survivor plug. If not, make sure you guys follow the Instagram, man. Corey Warden underscore IG. Make sure you follow Nails by Rye, my little daughter. She's got yes. some nail polish. To all my mothers, dads out there, you got a little girl that needs some nail polish, check out Nails by Rye. She's the best. And uh, shouts out to my girl, Taylor. Got to give her a shout out. Yes, sir. She's waiting for me to get back into the hotel and lay that <laughs> thing down. You know what I mean? Hey, <laughs> guys. Um, and then shouts out to my little girls, Ryder, Mila, Daddy loves you. We're going to that game on Sunday. And go Rams. This dude's going to owe me two bucks. I'm out of here. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> my man. At the Residency Pod, you know the drill. We'll see you next week. Later.